Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And today, I've got a project that I'm planning on doing, but I kind of need some help on it. So this inverter, I actually found at Walmart for $30. It was $89. My little tiny Colorado should be okay with the 1,000 amp, excuse me, 1,000 watt inverter. And it would just be while the car is running, so it's not necessarily something where I'd try and you know, run a whole bunch of stuff off grid with the, with the truck off. Primarily what I'm thinking of using it for is recharging echo batteries or, uh, you know, some kind of a cordless power system if in the next year or two I decide to invest in some type of a battery backpack powered system, something like that, to have a charger in the car. Now there's a couple of questions I have for you. One, I think what I'm going to do is just get some 20 foot jumper cables. Uh, because these are much too short. From what I've seen, a jumper cable is pretty much the cheapest way to get your hand on some, some number two gauge cable that's also 20, 25, 30 feet, you know, whatever you order. So let me know if you agree with that concept. Now I don't really have any fittings or crimpers or heat shrinks, so I'll need to get all of those. So if you guys have a source for a good crimping tool that's inexpensive or the heat shrink or the fittings that I'll need for that two gauge wire, please let me know. This wouldn't have to be run from the battery compartment. This ground just needs to be grounded to the vehicle, which would be like any non-painted piece of metal if I'm right. So maybe I could get away with that. Let me know if I'm right on that. This is the inverter, what it looks like. We've got two plugs, we've got our on off and we've got a USB. Now there is a fuse in here I couldn't find anywhere that said what the amperage of the fuse in here is. I might crack open this case to take a look. What makes sense to me is to get a breaker that's actually less than the fuse in this device. So for instance, if there is a 30 amp fuse in here, wouldn't it make sense for me to get a 25 amp breaker to put in line with the battery cable? Because that way, that breaker would trip before the fuse in this device blew. Let me know if my thinking is correct in that. And then here you see, here's the terminals where you'll attach these items. I don't really wanna mount it uh, anywhere up underneath here, although that would be nicer because the run would be shorter. Now, when we're talking about underneath the seats, that might be an option, but I don't think that's a good one either because there's no ventilation. Now, see, now I'm double guessing myself. And doing it here would be nice because it would be hidden when I'm not using it. I wouldn't run it while the seat was down. Would that be enough airflow, it, just like it is with this seat up, would that be enough airflow available to that inverter so that it wouldn't overheat? So if you can help, please do. Uh, if you'd like to see another video where I check out another product, you can view one of those there. Or if you just wanna see a messy yard get cleaned up, you can view one of those there if it fits. I'm not sure where it'll be. But uh, in any case, please consider subscribing and making sure you click that bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't let you know when I upload new videos and you'll never know what happens with the $30 inverter install. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.